Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome. Hi, hello. If you're new, sit back and relax, and I'm going to go into Ladian. So, Ladian, uh, this is going to be not a controversial one, controversial, rather, uh, but this will be one that I want to spend a little while to talk about because there's a lot of conflicting opinions on Lydia, and we all know it was shit. I mean, it was absolutely abysmal. Um, so that's something we can all agree on. But everybody has their own little interpretation of what they want it to become and what they how they would buff it. And not only are a lot of those ideas, frankly, I'm being very frank here, stupid. <laughs> Ten people just clicked off. <laughs> um, not only are a lot of those ideas kind of just stupid, they also don't make any sense. Um, for example, a lot of people suggest, oh my god, bug fighting. Oh my god physical attacker and it's like yeah i get it he has the little punching hands and he has iron fists but like the the dex literally says that he is like look it looks like the power of each individual is so piddly that he aims to use quantity rather than quality you know something like skill link would be pretty cool um would be very cool actually uh or technician was something i really wanted to give in fact i was very uh split on technician or lens but i'll get into that in a little bit stay tuned sit, sit back you know i'll get to it um but i did I did want both. Uh, ideally, I could have had Tinted Lens and Technician, but um, because of the type change, and I mean, the type change is a given. Nobody wants bug flying Bloodian. If you do, then I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's, it, there's a billion other bug flying types uh, that are already having issues with overlap, so I don't want more of them. Um, so, yeah, um, the Pokedex, all right? Pokedex is really important here. Also, just looking at Bloodian's appearance, um, they talk about how. Almost all of these deck entries just won't shut up about the, the powder and it's glowing and it uses starlight as energy and it's its patterns are growing in the, the moon and the stars and da 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 da. So, like, why does nobody ever? I mean, I'm sure some people think that bug psychic or bug fairy works, but most people always just jump to that bug fighting typing and it always bugs me, and pun not intended. Because it's like, there's so many cooler things you can do. We already have bug fighting types. We are, and they're, they'll be better. Oh, frankly, they will be better because there's Pheromosa, who's super fast and strong. Um, Pheromosa, I actually want to do type changes, but it's long story. And that's a long ways away, so we're not going to worry about Pheromosa right now. Um, but then there's Buzzwall and Heracross. And yeah, obviously, Lydian will be faster and a mixed attacker. But it's like, it's just kind of meh. And another interesting thing is that this hack has every single type combination used at least once. That's not an exaggeration. Every single type combination is used at least once. And that's not just like, oh, un that means every single unused type combination in Gen 7 as well, meaning, oh, technically, like, oh, you have a couple in Gen 8 that aren't in Gen 7. No, I mean every single combo that is possible is, is possible in Sweltering Sun. Um, I think it actually worked out pretty organically. There was maybe one or two reaches I had to do, and those are reaches that everybody else fucking loves. <laughs> um, a certain grass fire type <laughs> comes to mind that I always hate the idea of, but I'm doing it because I want to do every type combo and also because it's cool and it's unique um, and it's strong. But this is not a video about that. The video is about Lydian, and the point for Lydian is that these deck entries scream fairy or psychic. Um, they scream fairy or psychic. So. The reason it's not fairy type is for well three reasons number one the appearance suggests psychic typing more to me just looking at their appearance they're kind of like an alien power ranger-esque pokemon um and also space and stars are associated with both psychic and fairy um you know moon blast and whatnot is fairy moon light is fairy but then you have like you know cosmic power which is psychic and i kind of i'm sure those maybe would have been fairy type if fairy type was a thing when back when those came out but the point is spatial type mons can be both fairy or psychic in my opinion i think it really could go either way depending on the vibe of the pokemon and in this case i think psychic is not only more fitting on the appearance and pokedex but it's also way more unique because the other reason number two is that there is um other bug fairy types being rabambi and Ilumuse. um and those would overlap a lot uh, one of them is literally a bug fairy with tinted lens so it would it just wouldn't work out um so bug psychic is unique it's the only bug psychic hip in the hack um i actually so so that hopefully that clarifies the typing for anybody who's wondering okay and the typing is excellent um especially with tinted lens tinted, I'm, I'm gonna get into how great pokemon these are because these guys are really fucking strong um and, and 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 have a lot of utility and they're so cool and fun to use and they're so versatile but i want to talk about the logic of stuff first i want to get all that out of the way so that's the typing explained um hopefully people can live with it um again i wanted technician iron fist where's the iron where's my 20 percent boost on my f punch my non-stab punch moves in my in my <laughs> I'm, I'm such a dickhead but <laughs> 
come on, like it's bad. It's not good. Iron Fist with 80% attack is shit. And then you might be like, okay, make its attack higher. No, it doesn't make sense. I, I don't understand this mentality people have with Ledian. It has always bugged me. I'm not doing anything over 80. 80 is honestly a reach. It should honestly be lower. Um, the only reason I'm going with 80 and 100 is because, uh, well, number one, like he has all these decks and he's talking about special attacking and looking at his appearance and stuff. It fits pretty well. And then, um, these stats are already 20 apart, so I kept that in the, uh, you know, 45 plus 45 in both. Um, so it's equal um, in terms of, like, the boosts I gave it to them. Um, but if it were up to me, I would have made it shit physical attack, and then I would have made it almost akin to War Beetle. I would have given it more special defense and more physical defense, and it would have been, it would have had, like, 80 physical defense and, like, 115 special defense. And I know I just said if it were up to me, implying that it's not up to me, when it 100% is up to me, <laughs> I can do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> but... Um, I feel like people would be too upset by that, and people are so brainwashed by other ROM hacks making this thing a physical attacker that I was like, you know what? I'll compensate. I'll make it mixed. That's the comp That's the, the the compromise, not compensate. Sorry, I'll compromise. Uh, but if it were up to me, I would have made it or beetle-esque stats with like better physical defense. Um, not good, but like you know, base eighty because it's like an armored looking bug. He's like a Power Ranger looking guy. You know, a little maybe maybe like one ten special attack and then one fifteen spit F. That would have been so much cooler. Um, and then the rest, you know, would be. 515 based on total issue, then attack would be bad. Uh, but I also understand the appeal of physical lighting, and I understand the appeal. I get it. Like, I'm not totally shitting on people who think it. I just think anybody who thinks it should be strong physically. Like, the reason physical lighting is good here is because of the setup moves and the move pool and the tinted lens. It's not good because it is a good stat. I mean, it's solid with investment and, and boosts, but without that, it's kind of just eh. Um, and with tinted lens and a choice band, it's good. But on its own, it's kind of just mid. So, um, yeah, I hope that explains that. I hope that, um, what the fuck? Somebody just left my Discord. Sorry, I'm on a... Okay, that's fine. So, uh, anyways. Sorry, I have to mess with them. Um, just mute that. All right, back to what I was saying. Sorry, y'all. Um, Ledian. Ledian, Bug Psychic, all right. Tinted Lens, he got the fucking visor. He's got the the almost spatial alien looking with all of this talking about space and the stars and its stars energy. I mean, that's very, very much alien vibes, very much mystical type vibes um so psychic fits very well um fuck bug psychic venom off people who do that baffle me i'm sorry if you like that change it's not happening it's such a dumb change in my opinion the pokemon's entire existence is literally called veno vino venom moth venom moth its entire like lore is that it's poison it's venomous it's a poisonous moth it's, it's nothing to do with with psychic the only reason people think it should be psychic is we could learn psychic by level up and because it fucking uh sabrina uses one that's it, and that's just because gen I mean, that by that logic, then I should make fucking Lopany and Driftblim and Steelix Fire type because Flint uses it. You see how that makes no fucking sense? Because it doesn't. And, you know, in a Gen 3 or 4 hack, I can forgive it if you want to make Venom off different than the other bug poisons, but the thing is, there's no other special attacking bug poison unless you make uh, Dustox a special attacker, but, you know, those will still be different because Dustox will be bulkier and Venom off will be faster and more offensive, so... I don't see the per I don't see the point, I don't see the appeal, I don't see the logic. Um, well, there is no logic. It's just stupid. Um... I lost 10 more viewers um, from that. <laughs> um, I'm sorry if I'm coming off kind of like snarky in this video. It's just, it's such a polarizing mon and people have their own dumb little opinions on it. And I just find most of them stupid, uh, frankly. I'm sorry. <laughs> a lot of them are just dumb. Um, so yeah, that's that for the stats explanation. Um, it keeps its good special defense set. I'll talk about the mechanical stuff, uh, I think right now, actually. I don't think there's anything else to touch on flavor-wise. Um, I, I touched on the other bug psychic that people want that I'm not doing. Why did I just get a text? What did, what did they say? Oh, okay, interesting. Um, what was I saying? Uh, sorry, I got a text. Okay, we're good. Um, yeah, I think that covers all the logic of the stats, the, the stat distribution, and the abilities, and that not that stuff. Um, and don't get me twisted. Don't get it twisted, rather. Don't get me twisted. Don't get it twisted. I really did want to do technician. Like it fits really, really well. Like really well. I just I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Like I need levitate. I know people are gonna be like, well, just ditch levitate. Who the fuck cares? I can't bring myself to do that. I don't know why. It's just it's such an irk for me when it's a literal flying Pokemon that doesn't have levitate. Like as an option the thing is you have infinite ability capsules so i'll touch on that now i'll touch on that, the, the usability of it so the thing is with levitate you might think well the tinted lens is just better but there's a lot of cases where you're not going to need tinted lens because you have coverage and not i mean not so much that but where you're going to want levitate 
because you are frail physically and you are also, I mean, you're bulky especially, but you still need 65 HP and, you know, you know, a strong ground type attacks like Mud Bomb or Earth Power is still going to do a lot of damage. So to be completely immune to that and to have that defensive utility is excellent um, just as an option. So what you'll be doing is you'll be running Tinted Lens, say, 80% of the time. And then at 20% of the time, you're going to want Levitate. You just pop that ability capsule on. You have an infinite use one. It, it doesn't go away. It's just in your inventory forever. You use that up and then boom. You got levitate, you know, for that battle, and then you switch it right off after. It's 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 going to come up more than you would think because ground type. There's a lot more ground type moves, and ground typing is obviously one of the best offensive types in the game. Hence, why there's a lot of levitate Pokemon now um, that should have levitate, meaning Pokemon that are flying in their animations or Pokemon that are flying that just for some reason didn't have it, like Venomoth and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, hope that covers the logic of the abilities. Um, Tint the lenses. I mean, look at the, look at those goggles. Um, so logically, that is totally sound. Um, I'll cover the uses of Letty in a bit because there's a lot of amazing shit. So stay tuned for that. But first, I want to touch on Letty Buh. So Letty Buh seems mid. Looking at him, you know, stats. I mean, you know, it's especially bulky. And it's not super frail, and it's got a decent speed, decent special attack for early game, especially. Um, but you might still think this thing sucks. Um, and I wouldn't blame you for looking at it face value and thinking it still sucks. But you have two really cool new abilities and a lot of really cool exclusive moves. Uh, so for example, Letty Buh gets Reflect and Light Screen by level up still. Um, I believe they're the only Pokemon that I get those by level up now because they're TMs. And so what I've been doing is I've been making it so the TMs don't overlap um, for the most part, unless they need the move earlier on. Uh, for example, uh, I don't know. I can't think of an example right now, but say a Pokemon's only like, okay, a ghost, for example, might learn Ominous Wind before you get the TM for it. But, uh, you know, or, or something like that. Um, but in most cases, you're going to be... Uh, and that's almost always only, only to the first island. Like, okay, for example, Water Pulse might be... Pokemon's water type special move, even though that's a tutor move, uh, that kind of thing. Otherwise, though, there's no overlap because these are infinitely teachable and these are already crowded enough. What the fuck? Oh, they left the call again. Um, these level up moves are already crowded enough. So why the fuck are you going to want to like split it up more with moves that you can just reteach on your own with the, you know, TMs and tutors? So that's the point of that. Um, so a lot of other Pokemon just get reflected on light screen by, level, uh, by TM and tutor. And those TMs are available. I moved them. They are now available in Brooklyn Hill, which is a very good spot for them. Um, balance wise, but it's nice to have Ladyba able to set up screens versus Hala. It's a big deal. Another thing is that uh, fighting no longer resists bug, so you have a super effective stab and a neutral stab. So that's great, um, especially with Swarm. So I'll cover the abilities now. You also have a lot of other great utility, like I'll get, okay, for example, Moonlight. They have Moonlight, obviously, logically, that fits perfectly. Same with Moonblast and Combat Punch and all these other moves, Meteor Mash, etc. Um, but Moonlight, you might, you might be thinking, well, they get Roost by TM, so why do they need Moonlight? Well, they don't get Roost as a TM until after Hala. The Roost TM is available in Paniolo Town, alongside uh, Rest and Sleep Talk, I believe. So, you know, like, why would you bother with that when you can just have Moonlight pre-Hala? Um, sorry, what am I trying to say there? You can teach Roost infinitely, but until you get Roost, you'll have Moonlight as a healing move. It's nice to have healing for Hala, to uh, have reliable recovery for Hala, and for Totem Gumshoes. Also, you have screens for Totem Gumshoes, so Lediba already is immensely uh, useful. It's literally the only Pokemon to have that. It's it's great. It's so cool. Um, the reason I gave it to them, number one, because they think it would be cool that they have an exclusive little thing going for them, and they're pretty shit, so it'd be cool. And also, um, the decks literally says that they use Reflect and stuff. Um, in addition, if you are curious, the reason I have Aroma Veil there is because a lot of the decks entry talks about they have how they use um how they use these pheromones and these scents uh, you know to communicate with each other. Um, so you might be thinking Aroma Veil and Swarm those are mid abilities and they, you might you would be right uh, if they kept them when they evolved. But for early game, these two abilities are actually excellent. So with Swarm, you can use Endure plus Select or Endure plus Pattaya, um, which are all available before the first trial. All of those items uh, you have Endure as a TM before the first trial. You have uh, Pattaya Berries and other Pinch Berries available as well. And what you can do is you can run an Endora set with a plus, plus Special Attack Berry and you can use Swarm plus Silver Gale or Swarm plus Siphon. Siphon is 45 base power and it heals all of the damage you take. So you, you deal, rather. So that's amazing. And then Silver Gale is plus 2 priority, 55 base... Sorry, other way around. It used to be 55. Silver Gale is 50 base power plus 1 priority. So that's just you know, a regular priority move. Very, very nice to have. With Swarm Boost and again, versus Hala, that's neutral. Obviously, you're going to want to use Gust, but you know, if they have a Koa Berry or their Pokemon isn't... Uh, if the Pokemon's weak to, you know, if he has like a Metatite or something, whatever, Silver Gale will be super effective. And if he has a Cobble Berry, then Gust isn't super effective, that kind of thing. So it's nice to have uh, Swarm sets. Swarm sets are very viable, and Doer is infinitely reteachable, so it's always there as an option. Another really cool thing you have is uh, Z Supersonic. So for most Pokemon, I give them Supersonic in the mid 20s because Supersonic Z move um, is plus to a special attack, and that's extremely powerful. That's a nasty plot boost. 
But in Ladybug's case, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's give him essentially Nasty Plot for uh, Hala. So you can use essentially what is Nasty Plot for Hala. Um, Z Supersonic also bypasses. Uh, what the fuck is that sound? Oh, fuck it, AC. Damn, that was loud. Um, Z Supersonic also bypasses uh, Taunt, so that's great. Um, Encore is great. But yeah, the usage of Aroma Veil is interesting. So Aroma Veil makes it so you're immune to Taunt, Disable, Torment, and Encore. And all of those moves are Pokemon that, like, all, like, a lot of... Yo, what is this? Didn't like that remix. Um, a lot of Pokemon get access to, like, Disable and, uh, you know, Encore and all that stuff early game at level 7. Like, okay, here, you got Encore. Actually, I didn't get the Encore, huh? Huh. Oversight. Oh, well, doesn't matter too much. Um... It's fine. So anyways, the point is there's a lot of Pokemon with those moves. Um, Taunt, not so much. Taunt is a uh, post... It's the second island, and by the time by that time you'll be evolved, obviously. But it's still nice to be immune to uh, disable and uh, disable and uh, torment and uh, one more disable torment and encore. All three of those moves are very common early game, and like you know on the uh, melee melee island. So it's nice to be immune to those. Uh, and again, you have infinite body capsules, so you can swap between swim and aroma veil. So that's actually like really viable. Um, it's, it's it's solid. Um, I also just didn't really see tinted lens on Ladybug personally. I, I just don't see it. He has regular eyes. He's like fucking. Google, uh, what's that shit called? Google eyes, right? Google, googly eyes, that's what I mean. Google eyes, googly eyes, yeah. That's fucking googly eyes pasted on his face, so I don't really see tinted lens on him. Um, so that's that for Letty Bell, right? It's got dual screens, it's got... Oh, another thing is that it gets uh, air slash really early, because when it evolves, it loses stab anyway, so why not? I thought it would be cool to have 80 base power air slash for Hala. Uh, most people only have air cutter, so it's nice to have air slash for Hala. Um, so point is, he's very he's a very good option versus Hala, is my point, all right? Um, Z Supersonic, Swarm sets, Aroma Veil sets dual screens all this kind of stuff very good for very good for melee melee island despite the stats um and also the stats aren't bad like they're good those are good stats for the first island so that's awesome um hope that covers ladybug now into the fun shit we have Letty ledian uh ledian again i already covered the typing i already touched on the stats um he is very quick just based on his appearance and he is very uh bulky still especially at least and then he has um again respectable 80 100 offenses uh retaining his original 45 sorry 35 and 55 offenses i don't know why i keep saying he but yeah 45 and sorry 35 and 55 goes to plus 45 in each 80 and 100 um and that is a huge boost with tinted lens so you can run choice specs tinted lens you can run choice band tinted lens and you can just go the fuck to town you don't need to even I mean, yeah you can uh, you, you would be um kind of limiting yourself by doing that because there's a million i mean obviously a certain fights you're going to want to do that for certain fights you're going to want to run that choice band first impression for other fights you're going to want to we're going to want to run that choice specs uh influx whatever you know which is uh influx and think fast are both priority so influx is standard priority psychic type 45 base power plus one priority think fast is a lot more exclusive um to mostly only physical uh psychic types and then a couple other random months um and what that is is it's 55 base power plus two priority and it bypasses protect and stuff so that's really really cool to have um and again with tinted lens nothing was like tinted like people a lot of people already know how great tinted lenses but if you don't tinted lens is amazing um and also if you don't know what that does for some reason um that essentially makes it so nothing resists their moves or, or rather what it does is it doubles the power of not very effective moves so for example you, you let's say you're fighting a knock towel and you click uh, the signal beam on them okay so choice pick signal beam knock towel doesn't resist oh actually this is a bad example it's part psychic oversight um typhlosion you know fire resist bug but if you click choice specs uh signal beam on them they uh, you, it's uh it's great because they are neutral to it um four times resisted pokemon will still resist your moves but they'll only resist them by two times so like i said it doubles the power of this uh not very effective moves and what that does is it makes it so you can run only stab moves and not have to worry about anything else all you need is stab moves um in fact you can literally just run bug moves you don't need anything else if you really wanted to if you wanted to run three setup moves or three status moves plus a bug stab move that is a totally viable option obviously you're going to be wanting to swap your moveset around because you have all of these tms and tutors and level up moves you're going to be wanting to tailor your moveset for specific fights you're also going to want to tailor your ev spread because you have infinite ev training what you can do is you know literally you just use items you use two items and you get max uh, attack two items to get max special attack that kind of thing um, you're going to be wanting to swap between whether or not you're running a bulky set, whether or not you're running a, um, an, uh, you know, utility set, whether or not you're running an offensive attack set, special attack set. You can switch between that at will freely, freely. It's very, very, very nice to have. So that's awesome. Um, 
And that's definitely something you should be taking advantage of. As for setup, they have access to so much setup. It is amazing. So again, tinted lens setup mons are great. Um, I already covered Levitate and the situational use of that, so I'm not going to talk about it anymore. It's there as a placeholder. It's there because it's useful. It's there because it needs to be. Um, so I'm just going to be talking about tinted lens in the rest of the video, but again, Levitate is very useful as well. Um, so with tinted lens, you have um, set up moves such as Nasty Plot, Swords Dance, Calm Mind, Z Supersonic early game, Work Up early game. Um, so Work Up and Z Supersonic early game. And then, of course, later on, you will get access to uh, Power Up Punch Charge Beam in the mid game. Or uh, that's still early game, actually. It's in Penny Yellow. No. Uh, what is it called? What is that place called? Uh, Royal Avenue. Royal Avenue is when you get these Power Up Punch and Charge Beam. So that's there. And those are nice. Um, you know, tinted lens and stuff. And then you have, later on, you have access to actually, you know, you got Substitute, which is excellent on this kind of stuff. Uh, why did I give Stuff Bomb? I didn't mean to do that. I don't really see Stuff Bomb personally. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't even have that in the files. Let me check. I'm pretty sure that's just a typo in there. Let's check really quickly. Sorry, guys. 30, TM34. Yeah, there's no Stuff Bomb there. Um, I will just put Opera back on there. That's something kind of, uh, you guys, yeah. It had uproar before, I just, yeah, it's, sometimes I do it for space limitations because it's a post-game tutor, it's not that important. They have uproar in the files, that happens sometimes, they'll have post-game tutors that uh, are compatible with, despite not being listed on the sheet, because it's post-game, who cares, and a lot of them are niche, like, moves. Um, which is why they had a post-game tutor, is because they're pretty much all of the rejects, um, and then Superpower, which was too strong for, uh, the third tutor. Um, anyways. Yeah, you have a lot of amazing stuff here. So you have um, setup wise, again, I said Nasty Pod, Swords Dance, and Calm Mind. And then you also have Bulk Up. And you have um, early game, you have also Hold Back, um, which gives you plus one attack and accuracy. And the cool thing about that is that it actually doesn't knock out the flow. So you can actually rack up plus five attack with Hold Back just by clicking it if whatever's in front of you isn't damaging you. So say, for example, you're running Scary Face on another Pokemon or Cheerful Look or Charm or whatever it is, and you're dropping their attack, then you can swap in your Ledian and hold back five times. Press hold back five times, and now you're plus five attack. That's much more attack boost than you can get with Bulk Up and Swords Dance. Swords Dance is only one PP. Bulk Up is only three PP, so you can only get plus three attack at most with those moves. Um, thing goes for Power Up Punch and Charge Beam, but the downside of those is that you'll knock out the... You'll knock... You'll knock... What, you'll, ugh, you'll knock out whatever's in front of you eventually. Um, you will knock them out, uh, unless they're like four times resistant, in which case, I guess you can do the same thing. Uh, but this is like a no matter what, hold back won't kill them. So you can make use of that. And you can also use hold back in conjunction with a really cool move called Finishing Blow. And with Tinted Lens, Finishing Blow means that nothing resists it. And what Finishing Blow is, is with uh, it's a 35 base power move that is always critting. So it's 53 base power uh, when you consider the crit. And that's not super powerful, but it's very good because it works like Fellstinger, where it gives you plus three attack if you kill something. So that makes Physical Eddie and very, very powerful um, with Finishing Blow. So you can use Hold Back, get that attack boost once or twice, get them that at one HP, then click Finishing Blow, boom. Now they're dead. Now you're at plus six attack. Now you can sweep the entire team, um, assuming that you outspeed everything and whatever. And of course, you also have Think Fast, which you could use plus six Think Fast with Tinted Lens. Then you don't even need to worry about speed. Then you can just run a bulky Ledian. You know, you could run max HP, max defense or special defense, and then hold back and whatever. And you can get the perfect setup. Like you can get that going if you use your items and your moves and your that kind of stuff right in. Um, of course, that takes a little bit of setup, and it can be easier said than done because a lot of the Pokemon have taunt and other really strong, strong stuff, and they have crit moves that like bypass the stat drops that you do on them and that kind of thing. But uh, which is why I made those because stat drops and stat boosting is kind of overpowered. So uh, on top of nerfing the PP, it's also like, oh yeah, you know, barrier and cosmic power is amazing. But if something has like ruthless and they click first or first in anything, clicking first impression bypasses right through your barrier, you're dead. Um, you know, letting is not living a. Uh, decently strong first impression most likely um you know for example for alligator first impression i have an axe attack i doubt it's living uh, it might it might live but only if you're running investment if you're running any investment it's probably just going to die in one shot um so yeah um that's something to consider however you still do have barrier and cosmic power very early on you also have hypnosis which always lasts two turns so that's reliable um very reliable sleep move uh, 80 percent accuracy always lasts two turns all sleep moves last two turns uh besides pendulum wave which also technically last two turns but it's that's a, something you can go watch a hypno video if that interests you um yeah cosmic power is great barrier is great quiver dance at level 48 so quiver dance is actually quote unquote nerfed because everything like a lot more pokemon get quiver dance now so what that is it's just special dragon dance um, however most pokemon get quiver dance much later but i gave quiver dance to lydian pretty early 
just because I thought it was, you know, making Ledian really strong is, is fun. It's fucking Ledian. Let them have their chance in the spotlight. They are excellent Pokemon, by the way. If I haven't said this already, they are excellent. Truly excellent. Um, so what you can do is you can use that Quiver Dance up with Tinted Lens and just click Bug Buzz. You don't need any other move. You don't need anything else. You can run Hypnosis and then like stored power or whatever which i'll get into um and then oh it's so fun so yeah the quiver dance is good and the other reason quiver dance is earlier is because at level 65 you get a strict upgrade of quiver dance uh in lunar dance and what lunar dance does is it gives um it, it, lunar dance has quiver dance's old effect i know it's kind of confusing but just that's what it is um so that's that also really random um but you have tons of coverage moves i mean i'm not gonna waste time listing all of them you can read but um some weird ones that people might find odd fire punch and heat wave um i just feel like it's letty and who the fuck cares um they already get the elemental punches ice punch doesn't really make sense because the deck says that they don't like the cold and shit so buddy by itself also got his punch i believe yeah, Letty Ann got Ice Punch. So if Letty Ann can get fucking Ice Punch just by hating the cold, then Letty Ann, sorry, Letty Buck can get Ice Punch just by hating the cold, then Letty Ann can, you know, it's weak to all three of these types. It's not like, it's not weak to Ice or Thunder Punch. It's also, it's weak to all three types. So I may as well give it Fire Punch too. Um, same logic goes for Heat Wave and Icy Wind. Um, if you can use the physical versions of, you know, elemental moves, it can use special ones too. So obviously I'm not gonna give it Flamethrower or something ridiculous, but Heat Wave, you know, it's, it lives on tropical climates. It can just blow some hot air. Why not? It's just nice coverage. Um, which is not necessary with tinted lens, but it's still nice to have it as an option. Um, parting shuttle stuff for utility as well. Roost obviously is amazing. Um, so much great stuff, man. It's so fun to use. This thing is going to be awesome to use. Um, it's so strong. Um, so, and it's so useful. Like, it's just going to do so many things. Um, so yeah, Sideshock Bug Buzz are both 95 base power. Signal Beam uh, is uh, before that, that's 80 base power, and it has a 25% chance to boost your special attack stat by one. You have Siphon, which heals Silver Gale, which is priority, Infestation, and Struggle Bug. Struggle Bug drops special attack, and Infestation uh, does residual damage. So those are all nice to have. Uh, Skitter Smack is the same as Struggle Bug, but 10 base power stronger and uh, physical, so that's nice. Uh, and then you have already covered Finishing Blow, uh, which is amazing. Um, you can also really take advantage of other stuff. So for example, um Corbin dance is pretty early on then you get access to z powder and baton pass so z powder and baton pass are um so z powder will give you plus one dollar of your stats and it also uh powder the powder's actual effect is a, a priority move that makes it so when the opponent tries to use a fire type move on you they will take 25 percent of the hp and they'll fail it will fail so you can pp stall fire blast for example if powder has five pp you pp stall fire blast you click powder five times no more fire blast no more overheat no more actually overheat is more than five pp now because it's a recoil move but no more blast burn for example you know that kind of thing you can really pp stall the hell out of uh, no more heat wave that's five pp so that's awesome um and that's nice to have as an option and of course the z effect being so powerful another thing is uh powder oh yeah i think i think i actually wanted to change that to 3 pp didn't i i did i did i did because um, I forgot that you can actually kill something just by clicking powder four times if they spam fire moves four times and the AI is garbage, the AI will probably click fire moves three times no matter what. So I'm actually gonna change that to 3 PP. I, I said that in the video the other day, but I forgot to do it. So let's do that right now. Oh, come on, man, there we go. I know guys, I'm sorry, uh, it's cool, but this is still great. I mean, you can still get a fire type to, um... four could be fair. But that point, why not five, you know? Now, also, I had no four PP moves. Never mind. They're all one, two, three, or five, and nothing, no fours. Four is weird. Four is a weird number for PP. I can see one and two. I don't see, and three, I don't see four. Um, if that seems arbitrary, it totally is, but this is my hack. So, good night, dude. Oh my god, whatever. Um, no, I. Here it is. Wait, no, no, I just found it. I have to move this up a little bit. There we go. All right, just make that their PP. Sorry, guys. Um, and then we'll just quickly. Change it to thousand. All right, we're done. That's all I have to do. So, um, if this would load, please. Thank you. Um, back to what I was saying. So you have a lot of really. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Right, here we are. We are in. Um, oh wait, I'm not recording, dude. I am. I do this every video. I always get anxious if I'm recording or not. So, uh, yeah. Uh, powder, Z powder, plus one to all your stats. That makes you fast, that makes you strong, that makes you bulky. It's great. It's a great move to have. And it ignores taunt. Um, you can also baton pass any of your boosts. So you can baton pass Swords Dance. You can baton pass Bulk Up. You can baton pass Nasty Plot, Swords Dance, Coma, and Bulk Up. 
pivot barrier, cosmic power, Z moves, whatever you want to do. You can bat baton pass all of that. The only downside being baton pass is negative priority now for balancing reasons. So you can't baton pass speed as easily. And if you're a fast frail baton passer, it's not as good as being a bulky baton passer. But you know, you have good special defense. And if you have a barrier up, then you can take a physical hit pretty well um, or a cosmic power. With physical defense investment, you can take a physical hit pretty well. So yeah, um, that's all really cool stuff. Um, again, choice band, choice pick sets are amazing. You can use like U-turn, first impression, first impression U-turn on like, uh, not choice band, sorry, but like um, a light orbs that would be good, would be cool with that. You know, you can just click your bug stab and not have to worry about any super effectiveness. Obviously the coverage is nice because for example, a neutral bug move is still going to do less than a super effective fire move, for example. So it's not like coverage is useless. It's just that without having the movie learner available um, until the end of the game, you might want to just run utility moves. Um, and that's just my personal taste. Some people like running coverage and everything. And I think it's still optional. It's still viable. Maybe one move slot could be dedicated to coverage that you swap, um, but you don't need it is my point. You definitely don't need it. Um, it's just nice to have the option, you know, so that's cool. Um, yeah, Hypnosis is great. It gives you a free setup turn. So what Hypnosis does, it's two turns, but um, I should have clarified earlier for those of you who are new here. Um, hypnosis, when you use it, it only does, um, how do I explain this? It Hypnosis makes it so that um, if you're faster, you only get one turn of sleep, which is plenty. And then if you are slower, you get two two full turns. And that means you can get two bulk ups up or two calm minds up or whatever. But with the one turn, that's still a pretty nasty plot. That's still a free source. And, and the best part is that it's guaranteed. So you know when you'll wake, you know when they'll wake up. You don't have to worry about the RNG. You don't have to worry about the chance. The only thing you have to worry about is whether or not you land it, which is 80% uh, accuracy is not bad. So then you can always patch it up with a wide lens. And that becomes 92% uh, accurate with the wide lens now because I buffed it to 15% boost. So. If you're really worried about it and you know the only thing stopping you from sweeping is the fact that you could miss hypnosis and you know stop that wide lines on there um so that's all great stuff um you have powerful stab options with like psycho warp bug bomber bug buzz size shock psycho boost size strike all this powerful stab stuff um again powder baton pass are great and then at 65 if you watch the noctile video it's kind of funny that we had two lunar dance sword power mods in a row um but it just really fits both of them because this is an owl and you know the moon and stuff fits them they already learned moon blast so i was like fuck it give them lunar dance too um and then Ledian is, I mean, we already talked about it at the beginning of the video, but all of the deck entries strongly imply stuff. Oh, sorry, Ledian's not Letty Buzz. Although Letty, Letty Buzz also, I think, talk about it maybe a little bit. Maybe not, though. Um, so, yeah, it's awesome stuff. Um, Wounded Dance is extremely powerful. Wounded Dance is Quiver Dance's old effects. So you get plus one special attacks, but that fan speed. Um, and that's just really, really good. I mean, you become super bulky, you become super fast. And with stored power, after one use of uh, Quiver Dance, Sorry, Lunar Dance. <laughs> See, I'm mixing it up a little bit. Uh, after one Lunar Dance, you become... Uh, you get... What am I trying to say? After one Lunar Dance, your stored power becomes 80 base power. And you only have three uses, but each time you use stored power, you get a plus one special attack boost now. So that's amazing. I mean, with Tinted Lens, that's all you need to run is just stored power. Lunar Dance, Tinted Lens, boom, 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 boom. The only thing stopping you is Dark Types, and your other stab is super effective against those. So you can run Siphon for healing on that set if you wanted to. Um, you could run... Uh, you know, just simple bug buzz. You can run bug bomber if you want the extra power, although the miss chance is 10% chance to miss, but it is very powerful. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's all really fun stuff to have. Um, so, yeah, uh, Lunar Dance Power is great. Again, all of this coverage, I'm not going to waste time covering at all. Uh, <laughs> I think that's about it, honestly. Um, I think I got about everything. Again, it's excellent. Tons of great stuff it can do. Super fun to use. Super, super fun. Uh, it's kind of involved, but also not it's involved if you want to make the most of it but it's also like yeah you could totally just unga bunga set up move unga bunga never run any coverage unga bunga whatever the fuck you want to do unga bunga scarf ban specs you know don't worry about anything else that's totally uh viable as well so yeah um thanks for listening everybody hope you guys enjoyed this one i really don't i very much did uh, these guys are super fun um super excited to use them one day and uh yeah if this kind of thing interests you if you liked this video um drop a like <laughs> um subscribe <laughs> i know i'm plugging and uh it's annoying but the video's over so if you don't care about the plug just leave um but it would be nice if you could subscribe because i want to get monetized um and also it's also just nice if you want to see my videos and shit you know so if you want to see more uploads you just subscribe um and also you can feel free to join my server in the description if you want like updates on the project uh because it's currently in development so if you want like live updates there you want to talk with people you want to talk with me you can chat with me in there um i'm pretty active i'm very active actually um so yeah thank you everybody